and welcome to the World of Building Design channel. My name is Babak, your host, um, and this is the first video I'm recording uh, from this uh, series of the tutorials. Um, so thank you for watching this video and uh, I would like to give you an outline of our plan with this channel of the World of Building Design, what are our intention and what we want to do in the coming future. If you remember, we have uh, recorded a number of tutorials uh, with the focus on Revit MEP, how to create and start a Revit MEP project and how we can expand uh, the elements of a building model with the Revit MEP, how we can start uh, modeling uh, plumbing fixtures and connect the piping and how we have to set up a, a Revit MEP project, how we have to um, you know, add equipment and things like that. So, uh, as you remember, those series of uh, tutorials have been very introductory so far and, and there are many more areas that I would like to cover and I have received a re request from other friends and, and people who have followed the channel and uh, they have requested why we don't focus on many other areas that a HVAC engineer or a junior engineer coming out of university or college would like to learn. So there are many resources out there, but at the same time, I have decided to um, create many more of this uh, tutorial and uh, educational videos uh, for, for days to come. So uh, I'm going to have uh, different areas of uh, you know, these videos. Um, I'm, I'm looking at many other type of softwares that um, engineers with the focus of HVAC engineers uh, who are using these softwares for their day-to-day -day calculations, sizing and selecting of the equipments uh, for the project they work on. Uh, we're going to look at different, um, um, different techniques and different um, you know, topics that a HVAC engineer needs to be aware of and needs to know uh, on how to do this calculation, how to, how to achieve uh, the selection of the equipments, how to size pipes, how to uh, you know, you learn the psychrometric chart. There are many areas an HVAC engineer needs to be aware of. The good thing is that we are, I am located in North America. As you can see, it's, uh, I live in Canada. As you can see, it's very cold out there. And, and the good thing is we have a very good sets of a standard in North America where they govern the HVAC design implementation, commissioning and delivery to the customer. So uh, there are very good sets of standards we follow. I'm going to familiarize you with the different type of standards that North American use, uh, you know, for for uh, assessing the quality of the, the construction projects, the fabrication of the, the different HVAC parts, whether it's from sheet metal parts or piping, etc. So we're going to look at all these aspects of the um, HVAC design and engineering in, in, in the coming days. And I would like to encourage you to subscribe in this channel of the World of Building Design and uh, follow us at a different platform. So I'm going to create much more videos so that if you are a new engineer or if you are an uh, a engineer who has just graduated or you want to change your uh, you know, uh, your background or expertise from a different engineering field to HVAC engineering field, you can learn many things from these videos and you would uh, benefit uh, from some of the, you know, information and tutorial that I'm going to post, um, you know, in the coming weeks, as I said. So uh, the first thing I want to focus on is a different software that HVAC engineers use uh, very frequently and that's for the load calculation for, uh, for a building. And not only that, you can select the type of system you want to install in a, in a, a building. And also, uh, you can create plans. You can, uh, as I said, create different systems. And also, you can um, understand <clears throat> the load of a building, the load of your equipments. And we're going to review all of those in the software is called Carrier Hub. The Carrier Corporation is a well-known corporation who has developed this software and we're going to start looking introductorily into uh, all sections of this software and then eventually we focus on an uh, example on how to model uh, a building uh, with the Carrier Hub 
select select its equipment serving the that building and also we create the out, output from the from the software so stay tuned there are going to be many more videos to come and i would like you to comment send your comment about this video and tell me what do you feel about the hvac engineering tell us um, what area of the hvac engineering you will like this channel to to show you and uh, provide you with uh, with uh, tutorial um, you know and and uh, educational videos thank you for watching and i'll see you soon in the next tutorial thank you